So Nike recently released this crazy named sneaker, the ACG 07 KMTR, but the crazier part about the shoe is definitely the lockdown method. Plan on covering the details of this shoe as well as what KMTR means in this video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com, and I wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of this ACG 07 KMTR, which actually stands for commuter, which is interesting because this is actually designed for the urban commuter. So they said for people basically running through the cities and whatnot and just walking around. It has a very, very interesting lockdown method with this crazy tongue that you could see flares out. If you just went like that with the tongue, however, it kind of reminds you of the Air Jordan 15 model, but Definitely a very, very interesting looking shoe. And one from the very first images of this shoe, I definitely wanted to check this out and see it in hand. So hopefully you guys will like this review and see how these look on feet. And then if you guys are interested in buying a pair, check the link in the description and you can see a couple of places that have these in stock. But let's go ahead and get into some of the details about the shoe. First things first, we have the box as you can see and it has the ACG 07 KMTR on it. This is the black white anthracite colorway and I went true to size in the 9.5. You could probably go down half a size, but true to size works just perfectly fine for me. Come in just a black kind of sportswear box. The shoes also came with this attached to it, as you can see from Nike Lab, and it is just basically step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, use the lockdown. You unlatch the strap and then you pull on the back tab and then pull out and the tongue comes out. And then to close it, you just basically pull on the back tab and then you can snap it in with the magnetic part right there and then you just clip in the lockdown method and that's pretty much it so I'll show you guys how it's done it's pretty really really simple all you have to do pull this out and it actually slides in like this but it's magnetic so as soon as it, you get it here it just snaps right into place which is pretty cool but when you unlock it as it shows you push down right here and then you pull on the tongue so you push down here and pull at the same time and it loosens the strings and then you have this big huge open flap open mouth shoe and you just basically slide your foot in here and then you pull on the back tab here and then it tightens down the, the lace now you can see you can't pull it out and then now you have this extra on the back and you basically just click it in right there and you're good to go and final step throw the, the strap back across and it snaps in so that's kind of the, an overview of the lockdown it's just a very bizarre method but it's one that is just notable because it's such a crazy concept and so different than anything you've seen on the market thus far and i like the fact that it combines a couple different things a magnet on the front magnet on the back and a pull tab and then the crazy parachute like tongue the overall engineering behind the shoe is just definitely really cool and i like the fact that they kind of went outside of the box to make these and the price tag sometimes with that is usually really high and these ones are only 150 comparatively for an ACG sort of a collab sort of thing, you could have expected a higher price tag. So just a little bit about the actual model for you guys wanting to know. This is the latest version of Nike Lab's all conditioned shoe and the first iteration of the new commuter silhouette. And the inspiration came in the form of a brown paper bag. You could see how the tongue folds in like this. It kind of reminds you of the bottom of a paper bag. So basically it's a prime example of how sophisticated solutions can stem from a straightforward functional suggestion just like a paper bag. So a proposition for increased access and ease led designers to place a bag around a foot and scrunch it to form the shape of a shoe. This elementary act informed an inventive outcome facilitating the metamorphosis of a single piece upper from a wide open entry to a supportive closed state would result in a new performance silhouette. I wouldn't necessarily call this a performance silhouette. It's more of definitely a commuter. You wouldn't necessarily run in these, but at the same time, the lockdown is really, really good. Ultimately, the designers fashioned the ACG 07 commuter with a four-way stretch water-resistant upper shell that conforms to the foot through an integrated draw cord and stabilizes via four-foot strap equipped with Fidlock magnetic buckle. So they call it a Fidlock magnetic buckle right here. That's just fancy words, I don't really know. So the shoe is water resistant as you just heard, but I would say that it is not one where you can just do a water test and pour water in because if you did that, uh, my son actually poured water on my shoe and it fell through this crack and it just goes right down in inside of the shoe and then lands right on your foot. So it's like just a little perfect channel down here to get to the inside of your foot. As you can see right here, it just rides right along here. But I will say that um, he poured the water on in the rain. It would probably be really cool because these would be a little bit waterproof when you're walking around the cities and whatnot. They said that this shoe was created for all day urban wear 
in a range of environments, and that included flash rains, temperature shifts, and everything from hard concrete sidewalks to a variety of indoor flooring. So they were trying a number of different closure systems and they began to think about how a parachute unfurls and wondered how it might operate in reverse. Ultimately, that worked best when pulling the cord through the shoe via a single hinge. This act molded the bag like upper into form. And the secondary lockdown is added with the magnetic buckle. In final notes here, it says, the upper transforms from its loose open state to a sleek, fast silhouette that marries gracefully into a full rubber bottom with wet traction lugs derived from the tooling of the Nike Talic Flyknit ACG, which is actually one of my favorite models that I do not own that I really, really wanna get for next winter because it's just such a fancy looking boot. There's also reflective hits on the logo down on this section here and also on the back. So a fun fact about the shoe is it is actually designed with the acronym founder Erolzen Hugh, I believe is how you say his name. And it was built with Hugh's unwavering belief that form follows function and function should not deny aesthetic. So now that we've gotten over all of the technical aspects of the shoe and all of the promotional material from Nike, what do I actually think about the shoe? It's very, very interesting because they actually don't use Nike Air. As we mentioned, it's just a full rubber outsole and it has minimal kind of cushioning on the inside. The upper is just very strange feeling. You could see it kind of has that Peter Pan sort of effect on the bottom because of the lack of structure as it comes together and forms on the foot. Surprisingly, it's actually really comfortable. It's a very interesting shoe. This shoe kind of reminds me of the wool runners that I did a review on that were dubbed the most comfortable sneakers in the world, partly because it is a very simple uh, pair of sneakers and it does have very simple sort of technology with the traction. There's no boost, there's no air, there's no zoom. It's just a hard rubber surface that your foot rests on, but surprisingly it works. Sometimes you don't need that extra bounce and that extra responsiveness from something that like Adidas Boost gives you or Nike Zoom. And sometimes it's actually nice to be able to just have a hard surface to place your foot on and just go with that. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but it definitely is a different type of comfort, but one that actually works. And I wore these some days up to 16 hours in a day and took them off at the end of the day and my feet were just fine. It didn't hurt at the end of the day or anything. They were just as comfortable as they were when I put them on my feet. So I think that that is actually something to be said. Also, I actually wore these without socks as well just a couple days just to give it a try and see if it's possible and it's definitely possible. They're comfortable, they didn't rub any weird ways and the lockdown is really, really good. So I'll get more into the lockdown in just a second. I wanna finish up on this upper, I, but I do think that this is a very functional shoe and why it has the ACG attached to the name. Nike ACG stands for all conditions gear. So you consider all conditions because of this crazy rubber traction as well as the waterproof upper and the tight snugness of the lockdown. This is definitely an ACG shoe that is forward thinking into the future and I really, really dig that. I love the magnetic lockdown as you can see on the strap. I think that this is one of the coolest features. The downside to this though is you can't wear it loose. Like if you wear it loose, this is what, what's gonna happen. You're gonna be walking around with this smacking the ground and this will eventually break if you do that because you'll probably end up stepping on it like that. So I wish there was a way to tuck this in and like not have to use this if you didn't want to lock it down because really all this does because this is so snug and there's no adjustment like on the on the length for this elastic band you really have to wear them snug you don't have the option of wearing them loose and i would have liked to wear it a little bit loose just for fun just to see how that would have worked out in fact some of the promo pictures they show the guy wearing it like this pretty much and that was what was intriguing about it because you couldn't really tell from the pictures how much of a gap this is from here to here and how your foot basically wouldn't be able to walk if you had that big of a gap on it. So the way that this just forms and it just drops right down in like this for the tongue, you really don't have an option to wear them very loose. That being said, you do have some extra control over the snugness because of when you pull this drawstring, it does pull this tight and make it so you can't really do anything with your foot inside of here. So if you need it extra snug, you can pull it extra snug and then lock it in and you're good to go. If you wanna wear this a little bit looser, you just don't pull it all the way through and then just drop this down on top of it and then you, you'll have a little bit more flexibility uh, when you have the lockdown. One thing I wanted to show you guys is the inside of the shoe, which is really crazy. This whole lockdown system is just wild. If you could see, as I pull this out, if you look inside, you can see the string that comes down and it comes down and it's like a little eyelet down here where it actually swoops down and through and then it goes inside and internal of the shoe and it does the same thing on the other side. So there's the two strings. If you pull this down and flip it, you'll see the string comes out right there 
So it comes in and then wraps around and then comes out right here and then bunches up to the back section here where it's locked down. It has elastic on the back and it has elastic on the buckle and it's just a very complex yet simple solution that I really, really think is cool. And I can't wait to see what else they do with this and see how it evolves if it is able to evolve with other models just because it's such a fun and unique type of lockdown system. So I do have a couple cons about the shoe that I wanted to cover. One of them to me personally is just the overall aesthetics of the shoe looks better in pictures and in hand than it does on feet. On feet, they look a little bit clunky. They look a little bit weird. It's my own visibility of the shoe. When I'm looking at them on my feet, I'm like, these things look weird. Like it doesn't look as cool as it feels. So that was kind of a weird downside that I thought was interesting, at least worth noting. The other thing is because of the lack of structure of the shoe, it really is interesting because this upper feel is really loose. It does have a little bit of reinforcement down here with this kind of fake leather type material. It's kind of like a, I don't even know what type of material this is. It comes up on this side and you can see it kind of bows out right here after wearing it a couple times. And then same on this side, you could see the crease literally from here to here. And I think that's maybe because it's just I have wider feet, which, you know, sorry, sorry, not sorry, I have wider feet. But this part right here definitely kind of scrunched out a little bit. It felt really comfortable, but it just didn't have the overall structure to the shoe that sometimes people like to have um, defined as they're walking in their shoes. The cushioning and the soles, I again, I really liked, even though it was very, very minimal. It was just basically rubber not very responsive, just a lot, really, really firm um, outsole, but it worked and it was comfortable regardless. That's pretty much the only thing I could say bad about the shoe. Maybe the overall aesthetic of the shoe looks better in different colors. The tan pair is actually the one that I would have wanted instead of these ones if I would have saw them, but they released these two, This they released two colorways and then the next week they dropped two more without telling us, dude. I hate it when they do that. So the second week's when they drop ones that I would have wanted, but regardless, I'm glad I was able to cop the uh, first colorways that dropped of the of the model. Uh, what do you guys think about the model though? It's definitely unique and kind of bizarre, but still really functional. And the, I like the sophisticated, simple technique that they went with on this shoe. Overall, I really like it. I think that it's, it's a pretty interesting model and one that I could see myself wearing more, especially living in Oregon and the waterproof of the shoe definitely is a plus. But that is all we have for the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate it when you guys do that. Hopefully it was an informative video for you guys to watch. And I appreciate y'all for watching. If you guys want to check out some of the other videos on my channel, go ahead and check the screen right now and you can click the links and take you to the other videos. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one and we'll catch you guys for some more videos another day. Peace.